Well, parents have questions for the Hillsborough County School Board this afternoon following violent encounters on two school buses. A Hillsborough County deputy has a broken finger after he helped break up a brawl on a bus stopped at Sawaha Road and 56th Street in Temple Terrace. Well, now we have word that this morning three people got on a bus at Palm River Road and Maydell Drive and beat up a student. Our Laura Harris joins us live with the latest on these troubling encounters. Hi, Laura. Good afternoon, Ashley. I can tell you, I just stepped out of the Hillsborough County School District. Steve Hegarty, spokesman uh, for Hillsborough County, he tells me that right now they're in the process of looking at that surveillance video from that bus this morning, trying to kind of sort out exactly what happened. I actually got a chance to speak with that 17-year-old victim and his mother this morning. They both tell me that, in fact, three men got on that bus, one of which her son did know. Now, like you said, it happened at the corner of Maydale and Palm River Roads this morning. We're told that those two just got on the bus when they actually stopped the bus. They came up to him, just started beating him in the head. That's what he says. It's just the second violent incident on a Hillsborough County school bus in two days. Thursday, a fight broke out on a bus with Greco Middle School students on it in Temple Terrace. The bus driver pulled over to get a handle on the situation when a Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputy just so happened to be in the area. He boarded the bus, tried to break up the fight. That's when his finger got broken. The 15-year-old responsible was arrested and has a number of charges against him, including aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer. The district says those involved in that fight were, in fact, students, which may not have been the case in this morning's incident. Well, at the beginning of the year, bus drivers have a roster, so they check the roster as the kids are coming on the bus. It's January now. We're well into the school year. Bus drivers know who's at what bus stop, and they know the kids that are on their bus. I'm not sure exactly what happened here. I don't know if it's a substitute bus driver or, or what it might be. And at this point, I can't tell you whether the kids who got on the bus are our students or not because they didn't stay on the bus for very long. And they are still trying to figure out who those people might have been that got on that bus. So no arrest had been made. But Tampa Police Department, as well as the Hillsborough County School District, are working in tandem to try to get this thing figured out. As for right now, we're told by Steve Hegarty that the school district has tried to inform all of the parents and the students that would have been involved in those bus incidents, letting them know that everything is, in fact, safe. Live at the Hillsborough County School District in downtown Tampa, Laura Harris, ABC Action News.